Hi, welcome back. So last session I explained the introduction to the Jira. Now in this session I'm going to explain how to install the Jira server software. As I said that earlier, Jira providing two instances for us. One is server instance, other one is cloud instance. Server instance means which we need to install. That means we need to download and we need to install and run the Jira product. But it is a little bit complex one. But if I go for real time, Jira server instance will be installed in the company server where administrator will create users and they provide url and login credentials for test engineers second one is cloud instance no installation and maintenance required whereas atlassian will host jira application in a cloud for us and which is preferable for the practicing purpose but in this tutorial also i am going to explain the how to work with the cloud instance but if you work on cloud instance server instance also it is almost similar navigations similar terminologies but for real time how it is you want to see the jira software for that i'm explaining here how to install the server instance so you can do it you may not going to do it is not an important but at least either one you have to do it is server instance or cloud instance better one is we have to go for the cloud instance for the practicing purpose it's very simple but just go through the navigation which i am going to explain to you server instance it is right so if you want to download the server instance so this is the url i given atlation.com this url you can use software jail download page you can go with this website so there's a try it free will be available you can go for that so we have the enterprise edition is the latest release is the download jira soft server software here it is so select the os which OS you have windows 32 bit or 64 bit basically go for the download okay once you've done it so directly you are going to get the exe file that is a exe file you are first going to ask the acceptance agreement submit then this type of file you are going to get exe file will be downloaded if i go for my download sections this is the one which i got here exe file 8.8.0 x64 exe file just to double click on that to install that's what exe file will be downloaded from the dot exe file once you run the dot exe file once the installation is completed so this type of window is going to open to you browser giving some url here localhost 8080 secure setup model default dot aspa jira setup just click on the continue to my atlassian after installation of jira software will open in default browser like this in default brochure browser is the inner system click on continue to my atlassian new trial license here jira software server you try to take select this one click on the generate license that's what i give select jira software server click on generate license create administrator account and click on next like this so why i'm not showing to you why installation is a lot of time it won't take since of that just i'm giving the navigation steps to you you can do it is not a difficult just go to that url try to download run it is this is the default browser is offers with this navigation steps now to go for the so create administrator account and click on next you have to create the account here so remember that whatever email username we given this is important to you to log in finishing your step it will take some time here configuration your database initializing the plugin system 
setting up your Jira environment, finishing the setup, so all things are going to be complete by taking some time. The next page are going to be, try to remember this URL which is given. HTTP localhost 8080 secure. Welcome to Jira. This is the URL we have to use. Now, first time when you are going to do it is by default with this URL. So your browser is going to open to you. Jira is going to open. But second, the next time, next day you want to open the Jira. Directly if you open Jira, it won't open to you. You have to run the so Jira server, you have to run it is. Tomcat server they given. Start Jira server 8080. So you run it, then go to open. You want to stop, you can stop it is. But you have to run it is. This is the Tomcat server is going to open. It will take so two to three minutes of time to run your server, right? So after that, there's an not again. While navigating Jira server software, we need to run Tomcat server. Go to search in Windows, then type Jira. If you go to this navigation here, so enter login credential, then click on login. So you are going to get the so this type of login skill are going to get enter the username, password, click on login. Welcome to Jira. Then it's going to ask you choose your author name. You can give photo, you can browse it is go for next. So welcome to create new project. Like this, you are going to get. Create new project. This is the one concept which you have. So Jira server software. Thank you. Subscribe my channel. Once again, you see my here. You don't know you are go to google.co.in. Download so Jira. You type first website you got. Download Jira software server attention. So you went into the navigation event. This is the URL. Here you have the latest release. Select the OS. Windows 64 bit my one. Go for download. I suggest to go to the latest version so that you are not going to get any conflict while navigating the Jira tool. So older version to this latest version, little bit of user interface is changed. That's the reason I'm taking the latest version for us. Go for download. Once you download, you are going to get the so Jira exe file are going to get. Just double click on that, run. How to run it is. So already done in my system. Now what I did, if I want to open it is. Okay. So it will navigate step by step to you like this. Once you run it is. Default browser with this you are going to open to you with this Jira setup. You have to click on continue to my attention. After that, select Jira server software and click on generate license. You have to choose this one. Then create administrator account and click on next. You can create your account, click on next. By default, you are going to get the administrative permissions. Then this is the one URL is going to generate to you. So try to copy this one. You have to remember this one to open the Jira. So whenever you want to open, you have to run the Jira server software. Now see that in his Jira you type, they are going to get the start Jira server. Stop Jira server. Now I want to shut down my Jira. Then you can stop it is. Or you can run it is you want to start now thought start it won't open to you thought start it won't open to you right when you start run it is like this it will take so two to five minutes of time to run your server okay after run so try to go to the browser you are not going to run the server you given the same url here it will comes like this this site cannot be reached like this i'm going to get if you run that server then you go for the same URL. See, if I use same URL, I'm going to get like this, right? Same URL if I use, you are going to get like this. And then give the login credentials. Okay. 
log it. Now I closed this server. Let's say this is getting problem. Now let me run again. Start the server. In a few seconds, I'm going to pass my execution. Recording I'm going to pass here. Like this server is going to run. This is the complexity which you have. When you go for the cloud instance, all things are not required. Simple, you are going to get the URL for the Atlassian Jira to use. Turn Jira plugin system. Now I use the same URL here. Attention Jerry starting up saying that. Now setup is completing. So then you have to go for the login credentials you can give, which you already registered. I'm saying that you now it is ready. I'm going to log in. So it is not mandatory to install the Jira server software for simple practicing purpose. You can go for the cloud instance. The next session I'm going to show it is how to go for the cloud instance for the Jira for better practicing purpose. So how to create it, cloud instance for that. Okay. So now you want to create the project, new project you can create. How to create a project, these things are later available. Now, this is the how Jira software you can able to install in our system successfully. So the license for this 30 days is going to take. It will be the trial version, okay. So a cloud instance, maybe seven days it is. That is how we can install the server software of the Jira. Thank you. So next session we see that how to go for the cloud instance.